An ankle sprain is technically tearing of a ligament. The most commonly involved ligament is the anterior talofibular ligament, or ATFL for short. This ligament is on the outside part of your ankle. However, other ankle ligaments can also be involved. An ankle sprain is caused by usually rolling your ankle, such as if you miss a step or step into a pothole. This puts the ankle into an inverted position, which then puts the ligaments on stretch. As the ligaments stretch, they can either partially or fully tear. Symptoms of a sprained ankle include acute swelling and pain, particularly that's worse with trying to bear weight and walk. You also might notice some bruising, particularly around the inside or outside part of the ankle, depending on how severe the sprain is. You should see a doctor when you're having significant pain and difficulty bearing weight after an ankle sprain. The reason is because ankle sprains can be very similar to ankle fractures, and it's important to differentiate between them. I typically treat ankle sprains with a brief period of immobilization, either with a boot or an ankle brace, depending on how severe the sprain is. We'll then begin some progressive physical therapy as soon as possible to work on stretching and strengthening. Ankle sprains can take anywhere from a few days to a few months to improve, depending on the severity of the sprain, whether or not you've had prior sprains in the past, and then also on your desired activity level. You can go back to your normal activity depending on pain. I typically recommend that a little soreness is okay, but having too much soreness or pain during or after the activity is your body's sign that it's not ready yet. Chronic ankle instability occurs when you've usually had a series of prior ankle sprains or if you have ligamentous laxity. Each time you have an ankle sprain, this can stretch and tear the ligament, and then when it heals, it heals looser and looser and looser, which allows for abnormal motion to occur at the joint. Chronic ankle sprain may be somewhat preventable by properly treating your ankle sprains as they occur. By doing physical therapy, that can help to strengthen it and reduce the risk that the ankle loosens too much over time. Treatment options begin with conservative management, such as a brief period of immobilization and physical therapy and then activity modification. However, if we've tried all these things and remain persistently symptomatic, then surgery may be recommended. This would consist of usually an ankle arthroscopy to clean up any inflamed tissue and possible cartilage injuries, and then repairing or reconstructing the injured ligaments. I recommend icing after an acute ankle sprain because that's more effective of helping to reduce the inflammation. You might need to use crutches for the first few days because it's too painful, but in general, I recommend trying to walk under your own two feet as soon as you can.